I think what we think of as these collaboration tools um, are, are not only going to be uh, helpful for collaboration inside companies, but they're going to be helpful for collaboration with customers and across companies and between companies. And I think w one thing that a lot of global companies still have yet to figure out is that um, you can't have a system that only works within your company um, and be able to collaborate in the way that you're probably going to need to collaborate in the future. It's got to be, a, it's got to, you've got to have systems that are able to cross boundaries. Um, this, this came home to me really strongly when I looked at, uh, you know, I was reading some um, writings by the U.S. military as they're thinking about uh, network-centric warfare and all these, you know, basically, uh, um, uh, you know, having to deal with guerrilla, you know, operations and so forth. Um, the, uh, the U.S., the, the future of the U.S. military is, uh, they're going to use HTTP. They're going to use public, you know, public uh, IP protocols. And the reason for that is that uh, they have no way to predict what kinds of things they're going to need to hook into the network and, or how or in what way. They can't even, these are things that haven't even been invented yet and haven't been imagined yet. And I think this is also true for companies that, um, you know, you don't know. You can, there's no way you can know in advance what things you might need to link to or hook up to or interoperate with. Um, you just can't know those those things, and you can't know, and you you certainly can't assume that those things will be invented and owned by your company in every case. Um, in many cases, they will be outside your company, and they will be a partner that that you need to you know interact with, or um, or there might be information that's required from customers. <clears throat> 